Okay, so a lot of you have asked that I do this video on malware bytes. You're having problems getting to your malware bytes and you're getting an error message in the process that looks very similar to the window that's gonna pop up here in just a second. Um, I do apologize, this is, I'm doing maintenance on this system right now, so it's a little bit laggy and I apologize for that. However, you're gonna get that message. Unable to connect to service, whatever it says. Real simple fix. Now this is for Windows 10, um, but this also works on other versions of Windows if you go into your search area, wherever you search for your programs at, okay? So in some cases you can click on the tab here and just hit run. This is a right click on your start tab and go to run. And we're gonna type in services dot msc hit OK or enter it's going to bring us to the service menu here I'm going to go down and we're going to find a malware bytes we're going to go ahead and either right click and hit properties here or if you don't want to do that you can just double click on it it's going to take us to the malware bytes service properties okay now you'll notice here it says disabled and once again because you've disabled it from startup most likely just go ahead and click on automatic you can also use manual i believe on, on most systems anyway but in this case let's just hit automatic let's hit apply let's hit okay and let's jump out of here and let's try it once again now i'm not going to say that this will work all the time but 90 percent of the time it, it should work there shouldn't be any issues with it once you fire it up here and here we can see it's popping up okay and that's your fix now i as i said before i recommend that once you're done scanning your system with this that you get rid of it reason being you're gonna get a lot of pop-ups you know they're gonna get blocked or a lot of pages that are gonna get blocked and stuff because malware bytes has a very strict protocol um, about what it allows through so just understand it's a great program if you want to scan your registry and look for any undesirables that might be located on your system and this is definitely uh, one of those programs but it as i said before creates a lot of problems as well so i hope that was helpful give me a thumbs up give me a comment i thank you all for your support have a great day ciao